Hey guys, Novacore here. Um, I'm a little sick right now, so I apologize for my voice. But um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a really um, different method to help you guys get to writing your own melodies and writing um, chord progressions and stuff like that a lot easier. Um, it is rather limited, however, but if you're new to writing music, this is a great way to get started. Um, so right here, I have four different examples of this method. The, the first two are using the uh, minor uh, pentatonic scale, and the second two are using the major pentatonic scale. So before I play these, I'm going to give you a brief introduction on what the pentatonic scale is. The pentatonic scale is a type of scale that has only five notes, and each version of it is different. So the minor pentatonic scale has a very different sound to the major pentatonic scale, but for writing music, you can really use it to come up with uh, melodies and chords and whatnot pretty easily and I have some examples of this so the two minor stuff here the first one is an orchestral piece that's very very simple and the second one right here is a dubstep uh, introduction um, the third one which uses the major pentatonic scale is a drum and bass style thing and the last one, which is also a major pentatonic scale, is a uh, lo-fi hip-hop song uh, that I made. Um, and this is the only one song that I finished. And I'll have the link to it in the description if you want it. So without further ado, I'll play you guys the previews. So those are the examples of the pentatonic scale. It's quite simple to understand. So I'm going to create a brand new um, channel here, and I'm going to get out uh, Ableton's standard grand piano here, and we're going to get started with taking a look at what exactly this is. So let's let's move this out of the way. Move this out of ugh move this out of the way please thank you so let's create a MIDI track so there's a difference between each type of pentatonic scale and it all has to do with the type of keys that you're pressing on so for the major pentatonic scale this one is really really simple because it's all the black keys which I will write it out for you right now just to make things simple this right here is the major pentatonic scale. 
as you can hear it sounds um, pretty good as a scale by itself and what you can use to sort of classify the pentatonic scale is the order of notes so I'm gonna transpose it down to C major to help you understand it better so the major pentatonic scale the notes are as follows you got your one note or your tonic which is on the which is the same note as the root of your key so for, we're in C major right now so we're gonna start on C then uh, the second note third note you skip the fourth note and go directly to the fifth note and then the sixth note and you omit the seventh note and that's essentially the major pentatonic scale the minor pentatonic scale is a bit different so I'm going to draw it out using uh, C minor just to show you what that sounds like and this is the minor pentatonic scale and that's what it sounds like so for the order of notes in the minor pentatonic scale you can start on C but for example in this example which is in C minor um, you start on C which is our tonic then you go to your third note you skip the second note and go directly to your third note then to your fourth note your fifth note you skip the sixth note and go to your seventh note and that's the minor pentatonic scale and each one of these can be used as sort of a cheat to uh, writing melodies because it's really really difficult to sort of uh, write a bad melody unless your rhythm is all over the place and whatever so just as an example I can sculpt one right now using the major pentatonic scale which I'm just gonna use the black keys for uh, let's create more variation here then you could do another loop here so as you can hear it sounds pretty good when you just go on the black keys um, as this melody here now what you can also do is you can make chords out of it too. This is a little bit more, I, I would say, cryptic to do to sculpt chords only using the pentatonic scale, but it will it will help you really learn how to structure a melody and whatnot, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, and we can lower the chords here and one more thing that we can do in here just to humanize it a little bit is enable the velocity MIDI effect in Ableton randomize it a little bit now I'm going to drag this um, Ableton Live um, what's it called max for live uh, device here which is random note delay and this was made by Dan Larson and I'll have this in the I'll have this in the description because if you really want to make realistic style uh, piano sounds without um, using let's say for example like a MIDI keyboard let's say you can't play the keyboard and you want them to sound more human then I would recommend using this device here I'm just waiting for it to load and you can increase the range so it sounds a little more human now when you when you listen to it back but this is using the major pentatonic scale now I can show you a little something with the minor pentatonic scale 
This one is a little more difficult to write with, but you can still do so. So we're going to uh, make something here. So this melody sounds pretty decent, and this is using the minor pentatonic scale as well. Um, so really, this is just uh, something different that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I was I was finding some jazz tutorials online, and they recommend using this scale, and I figured I would share it with you guys, see if it would make your lives easier when it comes to writing, because it has for me at least. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.